the three S's. And the three S's are structure, stepping, and striking. You should have those three S's in everything you do. When we move, everything. So nothing is not purposeful, right? And if you make sure that you have these three in each move that you're doing, you can move much more purposeful in your sparring, in your chi sao. Now we have our timings, you know. Yeah. It could be early, late, or middle, but but even like in the rare But even times, then, you're still gonna look to do those three things in what you're doing. Why? Because Wing Chun is attack-based. Mm -hmm. So if you're not striking in at any time, you're not attacking. So that think, is your move. So I think that that's why like, what happens in common is when someone can't get in. And they, they, like, they can't get in, and so they bomb. But they kind of forget, well, that's... That's not, it's not it, a move. That's not where it ends. A bong is actually not a move. Yeah. A defense is not a move. Yeah. Because it's not one of the three. It's structure, stepping, and striking. Yeah. Not structure, stepping, and blocking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. Structure, so stepping, first, and striking. That's You haven't moved until you've so attacked. The, so the first one doesn't get in and they, they bomb, but they should have the second one. It's got to be coming. Yeah. It's got to be okay. there. And the sooner you can bring your strike, the better. Yeah. Right? We've got early, middle, and late. Yeah, and the sooner the better. So, but everything and that and what this helps you with, and you're thinking, okay, everything I'm doing in response to something that they're doing has a stepping, striking, and yes, generally we think, at least in our lineage, a lot about structure. Yeah. Okay. So that's that's kind of ingrained in you. You're trying to keep structure. Yeah. But the idea that you're stepping and striking maybe something newer to you, yeah. although it's not newer to what we do, right. it's a newer thing. So you make sure it's not just a hand, right? It's not just a hand that you do. You're over here, it's not just a hand. It's, yeah. a, it's, a, it's, a, step. it's a step with that Yeah. the whole time, Yeah. So yeah. right? And if you look at the five energies that we practice, you're here, boom, yeah. there. You did structure, stepping, and striking. Yes. Yeah. Although you could have had a lower... <laughs> A lower elbow on that. <laughs> well, I, right? It's all the details. Well, that trajectory you take matters. You know, you yes. want to take low, you know, low. And you can still hit up here, it's fine. But still come low, don't come from high. Right? Yes. So, yes. But uh, yeah, structure, stepping, and striking. Does that make yeah, sense? And so, as you're, so if that's always in your awareness. Mm hmm then yeah, I can imagine when you're moving in and you're moving to the side, when you're moving out, you're always, you're always trying to think of those three things. Yes, and you're always striking. So you don't play defense. So even in the rare times where if you meet something compressive where it's completely and you decide I need to back up, you would still strike. You're still <laughs> yeah. looking to strike. Which is the four direction footwork, right? The yes, backing up. you go back, okay, fine, boom, but can I hit, you know? And it may be, you know, we have our timings, like I, I did on my last video, um, where the three timings of attack-based responses, yeah. it may be evade hit, right? Yes. But that's still, you're still trying to strike. You can't just evade. It's right. not what we do. Right. It's not, that's not an actual move. For us, we must strike at every single move that we do. We must step at every single move that we do. And then you start to tie your hands and feet together with, of course, the structure. You're tying everything together, right? Mm -hmm. And you'll also notice, you know, on the dummy, when you're practicing the dummy, <clears throat> most of those moves from one to the next have these three things combined because we're going from what's called position to position. Yeah. And when we go to a new position, okay, things change. Yeah. You know, even if for some reason, for the most part, you keep your feet generally around the same spot, thinking of stepping is still going, is still the key because then you start to adjust just a little bit with your feet. Your feet have to be alive. A lot of people start to, you know, they forget about their feet or they don't, just don't have the awareness of the feet that the hands do. Right. Well, as you start to think of your feet stepping all the time, oh, okay, everything I do, I've gotta m move my feet just slightly, 
just slightly, right? Because then you start to combine them and you start to get new angles because these are the origins of the new angles that you're taking. The new positions that you're taking are the feet. And that's why the footwork is so damn important in what we do.